Greetings and welcome back to Tower of Time. I'm Catherine of Sky, and last time we went through the tutorial and we are back um, to see what else the world holds for us. Okay, so here we have the cave that we visited as a child. What is in here? Okay, inside of the cave, your champions see the skeletal remains of some animal. Its fractured bones and skull tell that it did not die of natural causes. Ugh, okay. This statue again? Weary this world can be, and many's the hour that men's minds do bore. So lay your hands on Malpusia's feet, and be regaled with the tales of yore. Is this some kind of game? Let me give it a try, who knows? The second, I tell us a tale, spake thee. Gods, am I, I am losing my mind, did you hear that? Oh, whoops. I did, what is this thing? Put your hands on it again. The fat from the hog roasting over the fire. Ah, yes, and this is the one that repeats itself. All right, let's see. Nope, it says the same thing. Okay, so they didn't have any luck with this statue that keeps repeating itself either. Okay, is there anything here? No. I'm always looking for things because... I am told there are hidden rooms in the environment, so my goodness, this is beautiful, all the greenery. Quartermaster, the plaque at the wall reads, entrance to quartermaster's office, access to floors one through three. Hmm, quartermaster, eh? Perhaps we'll find something of value in there. The door is open, let's be careful. It is just a collapsed stairwell, I can't make out the bottom, it must be pretty deep. There's a light shining through, but the space is too narrow for us to squeeze in. You think this is how those skeletons came to the surface? What if the level below is swarming with them? Then we'll deal with them. Their weapons can hardly penetrate my armor. Yes, but I cannot wear it, so you will need to protect me. My life before yours, Maeve. Always. You know that. Aw. Yeah, they must have been fighting together for a long time. And they know each other. Oh, speaking of, um, I don't remember if I, I did not give anyone this hat. Okay, Does she, can she wear this hat? No, only he can. Right. So Cain will get a hat, and it has health regen of one. Uh, that sounds really good. I like health regen. <laughs> so you don't have to use um, either. I don't know if there are potions in the game, but I know there. He has a healing skill spell thing. Right. Did we go here? I don't remember if we did or not. Okay, we can't even uh, hear about these bones anymore as we did um, when we had the other character as a child. Ooh, what is this? Teleport. Ah, a strange mechanism stands before your party. There are some letters engraved on its pedestal that read, Gardens. On the other side, there is another engraving, barely visible. This teleporter was commissioned by Baracus, Master Craftsmith, in the year 42 of the 5th era. A teleporter? What did it teleport and where? Perhaps it is as the old tales say, that the ancients could move over large distance in the blink of an eye. Apparently so. This one does not seem to be working, though. That's okay. I prefer to use my legs anyway. Reliable and not going blue. Not glowing blue. <laughs> Yeah, well, you never can tell how old technology is going to work. Ooh, I don't recognize any of these places. There's no way this cavern can be 14 miles wide. This place must have been part of the world above at some point. Curious. We know so little of our history. Perhaps we can learn more here about where we came from. I'm more interested in where we're going. There's obviously more going on here than we know. I trust our lord in the fight, but maybe he's getting us in over our heads here. Our dominion over the land lessens with each passing year. Whatever the power behind this place, it could turn the tide if wielded for good. His quest, and by our oaths our own, is an honorable one. The graveyards are overflowing with the honorable. Yes, indeed. It's been hard times. Oh. The chasm below the bridge seems to be endless. Your champions can make out some vague, vague structures deep below, but they are too distant to guess what they might be. This is red? I thought it was blue last time. Or maybe I'm just imagining it. I don't know. Or, I don't know. Is there stuff here? 
There's this little... No? Okay. We're gonna look. We like to explore. Okay. Statue. This is a statue that gave us problems last time. The Sanctum Guardians have been alerted. They will escort you to the Administrative Captain. Please do not be alarmed. Do not resist. Another talking statue? What is this place? And what is a Sanctum Guardian? I don't know, but it sounds dangerous. I am really afraid now. Are you too? Of course I am, Maeve. But I love the name of honor more than I fear death. Oh, he's brave. Very brave. Right. Okay. Okay, we know where that goes. So, let's check out this landing. Can we light this little thing? No. Is there anything down here? No? Okay. Gotta check stuff out. Gotta explore. This is it. The Crystal Throne Chamber. The architecture is beyond anything I have seen. Look at those beautiful windows. Wow, and the crystal chandeliers. It looks so beautiful. I love the colors here. Those windows glow with golden light, yet it must be past dusk in the world outside. Do you feel the power emanating from those crystals below? Yes, I do. Let's look for a way down. Right. See, he likes the windows as much as I do. <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay, there's a little urn here. I wonder if that urn stood in this thing, or maybe, I don't know. Maybe not. Okay. We're gonna look. Some crystals. Can I do anything with those? No? Okay. I love the shapes of these stairs. They're so, like, I love the texture, like, crunkly looking. Another group of those undead below. I would rather call them Risen, as they had risen from the ground. Aye, that name fits them better. They block our passage. There seems to be no way around them. This group is also bigger. Yes, I have faith in us. Let's go. Right. Okay, so we're getting into another battle here. Combat encounter. You have encountered an enemy group guarding a passage. If you come closer, they will approach you and an encounter screen will be triggered. If you walk out of their control zone, they will slowly revert to their guard position. Okay, so they're kind of like gating our passage through here. I like the moss here. I love the lighting. Look at this. You go closer and like the shadows are real and there's shininess. Oh, it's so good. So good. So pretty. Every detail is like so nice in this game. So immersive. Oh, here they are. <laughs> okay, I got scared. But they're, we, we're going to get into the combat encounter. They're going to walk up to us, say, yo, you want to have a thing? Oh, look at this. So we get um, some stats on these peeps. We've got damage 14 to 18 for a warrior. Adept is less, but they have uh, fire and fireball um, abilities. And they have resists. So it looks like they're all very, very... Um, weak to fire except for the dead knight and the magi spirit oh no he's the magi spirits also has a weakness of fire now the dead knight is much better um okay if we have water air or void spells i don't think we actually do i think the only thing that we have right now is fire and that is on Maeve uh, on her arrows so um i guess we're gonna fight right are we ready <laughs> We might be ready. We're going to try this. We're going to have a go. I'm excited. Um, this is good. This is good. I like the slow time um, mechanism so that we can, you know, position our heroes carefully. Okay, so we have... Right, these are the spawn points here. Um, oh, this is... Are they also spawning there? They might be. They might be spawning there. So, is there any cover? We could use these things for cover if we need to. Um, but otherwise, let's just familiarize ourselves again with the spells. We've got reinforced armor. We've got a create wall. We've not actually used that one yet. We might need to. We've got first aid, immediately restores health. And then on Maeve, we have fire arrows, which basically increases her attack damage and adds you know, those, the, the nice fire element, which we're going to need against these skeletons and things. Hunter's Mark marks the area and enemies receive an additional 25% damage and slows the enemies as well. Uh, and also an arrow barrage. Uh, and, oh, she's got air damage. 
I forgot if that guy had um, air. I think he had an air resist on him. I, can't, I remember that the, the fire was 20%, the next one down was 40%, but whether that was air or not, I forgot. So, um, right, let's move Maeve maybe here-ish, I think. And then we'll have uh, Kane out here and uh, she can she can do her thing. And we will use the reinforced armor when we get into the battle because it lasts what 60 seconds right so we can we can put it at the last minute right we just need to watch make sure that nothing's coming from that side as well so let's start the battle oh hello right uh taunt taunts enemies in a 15 meter radius that's nice i don't know if i have that yet and then fire arrows so skills auto target for skills that are anchored to the champion location like taunt select the skill by pressing left mouse button on the spell icon or press the key corresponding to that skill a visual indicator of skill range will appear marking all affected enemies oh that's very handy for like taunt um press the left mouse button or the corresponding key again to confirm the cast or right mouse button to cancel all buff spells such as fire arrows or reinforced armor also require cast confirmation by pressing the spell key again or clicking left mouse button anywhere. That's good to know, so we just double tap for those spells. Healing Totem places a healing totem for 10 seconds that heals uh, 5 or 6 damage per second. I'm not sure what the number in parentheses means. I need to uh, look that up. Uh, select place and click to confirm so anybody within that range will get healed, I'm guessing. An ice storm. Oh, so we're here. Select location. Certain skills, such as a healing totem, require you to select a placement location. Visual indicator of skill range, marking affected enemies and peeps. I'm guess I'm guessing uh, you know friendly peoples. All right, and then you need to confirm uh, right button to cancel the cast. Right, there's an ice storm. Right, let's escape this. All right, select direction. Cone skills are powerful as they require special positioning, and thus can put your champions in danger. A uh, visual indicator will appear. Okay, again, physical wave. Cool. Cone of force damaging all enemies in range for physical damage. Arrow beam shoots a willpower arrow in the uh, large beam. Wow, that's a lot of damage. I am nowhere near those levels of skills at the moment. Right, so we're going to cast our spells. And then Maeve, please cast yours. Right. I'm gonna walk you over here. Oh, and you're almost dead anyway. Okay. Okay, go over here. I'm gonna have you cast this one, a wall right there. Oh no! No, no, no! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go here. Maeve, cast the mark right there. Kaboom. And you start hitting both of them, please. Uh, can you hit this guy, please? Um right okay hit this guy please then. right here okay good now I gotta make sure there's nothing coming from that side okay we're gonna just hang out here okay now this so that wall didn't do anything it was too too far okay let's see does Maeve have her no it's not back up yet but let's make sure she's shooting fire arrows and you come over and attack this guy. Okay, can you please attack him better? Thank you. Get his attention. Right. Okay. Now we have a problem. We've got this person from over here. What I'm going to do... Oh, I can't tell whether they're coming... They're coming that way. So I want you to cast this wall here. Alright? And then you go this way. Kaboom. Right. Okay, so they have to go around the other way, but you can go and hit this one there. Kaboom. Nice. Alright, now we'll concentrate on getting these two. Now, Maeve, please cast a the marking thing here, and you go along this way and go and hit these guys. Okay, we need our armor again. I love this, that it protects her as well. That is fantastic. Right, Maeve, are you... Okay, looks like you still have... Oh, no. No fire arrows. All right, enemies are defeated. Fantastic. Right, we got our armor, and we got one um, green crystal. So say okay. 
All right, I'm feeling good. Of course, this is just tutorial levels, but I'm still pretty happy about the amount of damage that we didn't take. Um, <laughs> that's pretty darn tasty. So, uh, right, so items uh, come in three main categories. We've gone over this, um, we've seen this tip in another uh, loading screen, but I do appreciate uh, when developers put these tips in loading screens because you can often pick up some really good um, things to do in the game that you might not otherwise observe or, or come across. So far we're getting just very basic items, magic items. All right. Are you all right? Yes, are you? Yes, I'm fine. Though when that big one appeared, I was sure we were finished. They are vulnerable to fire. We need to remember that. The path to this strange throne lies open now. Let's approach. Right, so I want to check on their stuff. Ah, is this a mave piece? Oh, we have a mave piece. Oh my god, at last. Right, so this gives one life and two armor. So then we'll take it. Why not? Dismantle. We don't want to dismantle anything yet. We can't afford to. Right, okay. So here we have the same statues. I'm going to go on the left side as well. Right, so we've seen these people. I don't think we went around this way last time. Collapsed armor. Look at that armor! Surely it is just ornamental. A creature wearing this would have to be 30 feet tall. Ooh, that might give us an idea of what was here. Okay, Helenea is here. Wow. I love this environment. It's so cool. Ooh. Aha. That is the throne, exactly as I remember it. You feel the strange compulsion that you felt all those years ago, drawing you to this throne. You resist it for a moment. You find doing so far easier than you remember. As you sit, you realize with a shock that you can see and hear what your champions see and hear. This is amazing. Cain, Maeve, I can see through your eyes. I can even hear myself speak through your ears. What magic is this? Are you sure this is to be trusted, my lord? To tell you the truth, no, I am not. What harm can it do? The world above grows weaker every year. What have we to lose? You are right. It is clear that a great power resides in this place, as I have always known in my heart since that day. However, even if we can use this power as we wish, we cannot do so safely unless we explore the depths of this place. We will do as you bid, my lord. Wait a moment. Can't you tell us anything more about what we can expect to find down there? I know not, old friend. This is as far as I have ever come. But I know this. We are running out of time. If we want our children and our grandchildren to have lives worth living, something has to change. This is our best hope, I promise you. To your left, there is a staircase leading down. Go now. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, this is a cool place. I love these, like, funky things upward. Oh, this is so good. Okay. I'm just getting a screenshot because I'm sure I'll need one. Okay, who is this? This statue is unlike the others. It has very fine features and seems as if it is ready to jump from the pedestal. Engraving at the pedestal reads, First Magus Proteus. I have a crazy feeling. I feel watched. You mean by the statue? I feel it too. He's pointing toward the stairs. We better not disappoint him, shall we? Yes, after you. Okay, so this is first Megas Proteus held office between 256 and 289 of the fifth era. This is a very, very cool thing. Oh, oh my god. I felt like this, like feeling of vertigo as I'm looking down. It's like, whoa, uh-huh. After over two decades, you come back to the tower the place that had been drawing you inexorably since that fateful day so many years ago. You sit upon the crystal throne. A very familiar feeling comes across you, as if you had done it all your life. 
You probe the surroundings with your newly found sense and marvel. You move your attention to Cain and Maeve as they descend a seemingly endless flight of stairs. You can see through their eyes and hear what they say to each other, as if you were a ghost floating right above their heads. The ancients must have been powerful indeed to have commanded magic of this type. Yet for all their might and refinement, something happened that crushed their civilization, leaving a broken land as your heritage. You are jealous of the thrill of adventure as you sit here while your friends are walking into the unknown. Yet you have no choice. You must stay here and reclaim the surface. However, you also have a feeling, a premonition, that you need to stay here, or this mission will surely fail. You shake a gnawing feeling of dread at the immense responsibility you must now bear, and focus your senses only on your party. They have reached level one of the tower. Your quest begins. Okay. You look like you could use a rest after that. So do you. I counted almost 1,000 steps down. Next time you can don my armor and bear my shield, and I'll carry your little bow. Your armor wouldn't fit me, but you can carry my bow next time if you want. <laughs> so this is the tower. It shows little decay for a place so old. The air could be fresher, but it's breathable. I wonder what we'll find here, and why our lord has sent us. There's only one way to find out. If you have caught your breath, let's move forward. Okay, let's look. We'll look at the stuff. Entrance, discover new teleporter. Okay, so we um, unlocked another teleporter right here. Before your party st stands, another teleportation mechanism, identical to the one they saw above. This one glows with blue light and its rings rotate slowly. The plaque on the bottom says, Entrance, direct access to gardens below. Welcome to the tower. A teleport with a link to the one we saw above. Strange, why does it say below then? Come, let's see if it works. We should go back to the Lord anyway to inform him that the access to the tower is unblocked. You want us to use the teleporter now? What did you say before about preferring your good old legs? That was before we had to descend all those steps. All right, you can fast travel between locations using crystal teleporters. Once you click on one, a map of the current level opens. Blue circles show the locations of any teleporters you have visited and activated. To travel between teleporters, click on one of the blue circles and your party will instantly arrive at the chosen location. To return to the city now, click on the city icon located in the part of the screen. Okay, let's look. So we have, we have a quest thing, a bestiary. Oh, look at this. Oh, we can check on these things. Okay, so that that um, that beastie was actually sort of vulnerable to air as in as much as he's not resistant to it. Um, so the second one was Earth that I wanted to look at. So, wow, nice. And we have descriptions of all of these things and abilities. That's really nice. Cool. Well, I'm going to read these later, I think. Uh, tower level one and okay two no monsters discovered on this level so each level has their own monsters uh, we have a map here's the map and there is indeed the teleporter I don't think I want to teleport now I don't think I need to do we have anything here nope no skills left nope okay we didn't we didn't do much oh no we don't want to return to the city we want to keep on going oh we got seven gold from this guy Okay. Wooden rack. Scattered papers crumbling with age. Your champions sift through them but find nothing of interest. Okay. Anything in the corner? No. Okay, so this is the land of vase score. Gotcha. Wooden crates and barrels. Searching through them reveals nothing but dust and cobwebs. So vase score is what I called in Diablo. You had to they had the thing where you, you look at um, if you break all the vases, you had a chance of finding something really cool inside, but yeah, vase score. Right, five gold from these bits here. Oh, what have we got up there? Oh, oh what is that? Hello, travelers. Who, who are you? I am the tower. What do you mean? I represent this tower, and the tower represents me. I can feel your footsteps, hear your voices echo through my walls. Then how can you be standing there talking to us? 
I am sorry, I did not mean to be confusing. You simply would not understand me, even if I explained it all. What you see before you is just a projection of who I am. For all that matters, I am the tower. I'm not sure I understand. How could such a thing be? My creators were powerful magi. They first built my body, the tower itself, and then built my mind, built me so that I might protect myself. We mean you no harm. You cannot harm me, but it is kind of you to say so. Tell me, is the sun still visible in the sky these days? The ashen sky lightens by day and darkens by night. In the winds that, f that follow a heavy rain, the sun can sometimes be glimpsed, but all too little. Ah, much as it was hundreds of years ago, tell me why are you here, and what or who do you seek? This place has been uncovered recently, and we were sent by our lord to investigate. Explore this level as you wish, I will not hinder you. Be warned, however, some strange power has recently awakened the old spirits here, and the dead roam restlessly through these halls. Are those creatures not native to this place, then? No, they are not, and I cannot see what power animates them. Avoid them if you can. Your strong life force is like a candle in the darkness to them. Too late for that. We met them on the surface. Then they found a way up. I'm afraid you need to find a way to deal with them. Otherwise, they may become a threat to you and to whoever lies above, lives above. Wow, that, that person has interesting wings. Right, strange trail. What looked like a trail of blood from a distance proves, on closer inspection, to be a strange crystallized essence. Oh, that's funky. Is it related to these people? No? Alright, that's interesting. Treasures, five gold. Don't know what we're going to do with gold yet. What is this? A fountain. Fountains are scattered across the tower. One of your champions can decide to take a drink and gain positive increase to their statistics. However, some fountains contain corrupted waters with negative effect. You can try to guess the effect by looking at the color of the water. Well, this looks a very pretty blue, so I think I will drink, maybe. The fountain is filled with water that glows with tiny specks of light. When they put their hands above the surface, they feel a tingling of power. Clearly, the waters have magic properties. Is any of your champions willing to risk it and drink the water? Um, yeah. Kane is the stronger one. If there are any negative effects, I think that he could probably deal with them better. Let's accept. Whoa, that was cool. All right, Kane's health has increased by eight. Oh, that's nice. Oh, the tower's back. It was a brave choice to drink from this fountain. Your bravery has paid off, it seems, but you should be careful next time. Some relics you encounter here may have undesirable effects if you use them. Well, thank you for that advice. I have a feeling she, it, whoever that was, did not tell us everything. We'd better be careful. Can I drink again? No. Okay, water in this fountain no longer has any magic properties. Right, okay, so it's like a one-time use thing. All right, I'm going to try to go through these areas fairly uh, scientifically, rigorously, just kind of go along the outer portions, um, you know, until we come out. What is this? Anything? There's trees here. Golden tree. A beautiful golden tree. It is a wonder how it has survived so deep underground. Huh. There's like a light beam shining on it, I think. Skeletons of the table. Your party sees some tattered scraps of parchment on the table. Makeshift playing cards faded with age. Whoever the two playing it were, they continued until time took them. That is one heck of a dedication to a card game. Treasure? Oh, six gold. Okay. Anything here? No. Oh, there's a chest. Hey, chest. Oh, nice gloves. Right. Anything there? There's like plants here. Let's give gloves to somebody. All right, Kane. Here, have these gloves, please. What do they have? Health points? Nice. Kind of clicking things. An orange frog. 
At the edge, your party sees a small orange frog peering up at you, totally unafraid. They silently bid the creature happy hunting and move on. I like orange frogs. I feel like that's a lucky frog because I like, you know, orange happens to be my favorite color today. Oh my god, we got a sword. Ooh, check that out. Right, what is this looking like? Um, so the select, it actually has worse, worse stuff. But it does have fire damage and skill damage increase. That's very interesting. But it's got like half the DPS. Hmm. I don't know about that. You know what it could be also? It could be a one-handed sword. Yeah, we have a shield otherwise. So this might be interesting. Eh, we'll use the, the great sword for now. I like damage. I feel like I can kill things. If I can kill things fast enough, then I don't need the shield. This is kind of oozing over here. That's really interesting. There's like, is that an arm sticking out? Oh, anyway. All right. So we have explored this area. We don't know what this golden tree is about. Um, wish I could interact with it more. Is there anything in this pile here? No? Let's go to the left here. There's another chest. Hooray. Ooh, a shield. Right. Okay, we can't use a shield at the moment because we're... Oh, here's some water pipes. What a clever design. Those pipes were installed in the wall to draw the underground water and channel it to the fountain. It still functions. At least we will not lack drinking water here. Oh, that's cool. So we're kind of um, uh, able to survive, just like reassuring that we're not going to die. The water is almost painfully cold, yet very refreshing. Yeah, I know that kind of water. Uh, okay, so we have a fight coming up. Okay, let's just see what they want. Right, again, we have lots of skeletons. Pretty much everyone has fire weakness. And the dead knight, again, we can hit it with an, um, an air skill. Right, so let's try this. Okay, so this is beyond the tutorial now. We're we're beyond the tutorial. We need to really focus. Looks like there's only one spawn point, seemingly. I'm gonna move my characters here. I'm gonna move Maeve. Okay, let's just zoom out. I like to be zoomed out a bit. Right, so she can be here. Maybe even further out, just so that stuff does not hit her from the doorways. And I think we'll have Kane kind of maybe here. And this way I can block off areas should I desire to do so. So let's start the battle. Okay, let's uh, oops, have some armor, first of all. Let's go ahead and attack peeps. And then Maeve, I forgot to put your fire arrows on, but that would be most uh, excellent if you do that. Okay, and you hit that guy with the arrow barrage, please. over there. These guys are tricky. Okay, so hold on, hold on. Uh, okay, Maeve, do the marking. Right. You go ahead and hit that guy. Got him slowed down a bit. And this guy does not want to move. He's into the sorcery business. Okay. This way. Whoa! Alright, so we've got some interesting stuff going on here. Um, wow. I'm gonna have to move. Can I walk there? No, no, just walk this way. Walk this way. Walkie, walkie. Okay, Maeve, get your fire arrows thing going. And maybe also hit this guy with that, please. Kane, uh, I think you're good. Maybe just hit this guy. Okay, that's fine. And then Maeve can- oh, we can't do the marking again yet. Not yet. Right. So. Okay, hold on, Maeve. Uh, do your marking right here. Get them both there. And, um, right, Kane. You go ahead and hit these guys. Marked, slowed, good. Whack him, good. You keep on going here, and Maeve move and hit that guy with your number three spell okay good 
Oh gosh. Golly gee. There we go. Hit this guy, please. And armor up again. Okay. Walk here, please. Mave. Yeah. Fire arrows again. No! Oh my god. Oh gosh, he's got he I can't avoid that spell. Looks like he just keeps on putting it on me. Which is not ideal. Walk. No! Okay. So I don't know if dodging is a thing. Maybe not. Okay, we got our 100% of the enemies defeated at last. Right, so we have a bit of armor. Which is nice. This is an interesting piece of art. Those look like trees or tree roots, possibly. Oh no, they're trees because there's like bridges and things. Some ramparts here and magical people shooting lightning bolts. Seems like a rough time. Okay. You kind of wonder, like, who are these shadow people? Right. We got something. We got a great shield. A piece of armor for somebody that we don't know about. Okay, nobody can equip that item. All right, we have a mystery item. Um, I believe there are seven uh, classes of champions here. What is this? A beautiful waterfall. Its heavy mists fall onto your champions' faces, refreshing them. That looks nice. Cool. Some stuff here. All right. Oh, this light. How beautiful. I feel a strange draft from this wall. Yes, I feel it too. Looks like there might be a hidden passage behind. Look, touch the stone here. Yes, it is strangely soft to the touch. Oh, wind from a wall. All right, got eight gold from there. Upon examining the wall closely, your party is sure it is an entrance to a secret passage. They can see the light coming through the cracks in the stone. So is there like a button to press? What's this? Okay, we've got gold from there. Oh, that's very, very far down. I'm going to explore this area before I get to that wall. So many books in one place. My father had five, and he was considered a learned man for it. This lot is probably more than all we have on the surface combined. Books. All we had when I was growing up was a Hislop's Almanac. I learned more from an afternoon in the forest than I did reading that thing cover to cover. I'll take a rowdy tale told round the campfire over these dusty old tomes any day. Are you not interested in what we can find here? All this knowledge lost to us. Perhaps we can find out what has happened to our world. Why is the land dying? What was this terrible enemy that the ancients fought? Wait, look, there's someone here. What? There's someone here? Oh, there's a person here. Oh my god. Hello, stranger. Startled by your voice. What? what? Who goes there? Calm down, sir. We mean you no harm. Ha, I feel much better now. A warrior and an archer, or is it archeress? What brings you to this place? I was sure I was the only soul, only living soul here, not counting those annoying walking skeletons. We are explorers, acting on the authority of our lord and the keep far above. Who are you and what do, what do you do down here? My name is Philitas. Please, unknock that arrow, fair maiden. I am harmless. Surely you have heard of me. The greatest historian of our day. Relentless seeker of ancient knowledge, master archaeologist, author of A Treatise on the Elven Race. Sadly, we are not familiar with you or your writings. Uh, well, I suppose I have spent most of my time with elven and dwarven folk. I often forget how ignorant my own race has become. To answer your question, I learned about this tower long ago from an elven scholar and decided to come here to investigate. After uh, <clears throat> misunderstanding with my companion over... Uh, I wish to say no more on this matter. Elven? Dwarven? You speak about an ancient myth. There has been neither word nor sighting of elves or dwarves for many generations. Fascinating. But you are not to be blamed for your lack of knowledge. I assure you, brave sir, they do not consider themselves myths. They simply keep to themselves now, loathing to leave their strongholds. 
Nevertheless, I believe that the discovery of this tower, perhaps the key to solving the mystery of the Great Sacrifice, might rouse them. I will send a message to them once I return to the surface. That is all good and well, but how did you get here? What sort of protection do you have? Do you command powerful magic to defend yourself? Where are your supplies? I only command the genius of my brain. I have never been in need of anything else. As for provisions, I have dwarf bread, triple baked in the great furnace of the stone city. It's a bit like uh, gnawing on a brick, but a single loaf can sustain a man sat reading for a full fortnight. I can testify to that myself. My true sustenance comes from the treasures all around us. Treasures? Why, yes, treasures. Have you ever seen such a library? So much has been lost, even to the elves. Our history must be recovered at any cost. If not, we are doomed to repeat the mistakes of the past. Yet I am not a fighter and perhaps not best equipped for this grand endeavor. You plan to descend to the bottom, or rather, the top of this tower? Incidentally, are you aware that we are standing on the ceiling? I told you there was something strange going on as we descended those steps. Yes, that is our quest. Then I will go above and seek the service of this lord of whom you speak. But you must promise me one thing. Whatever writings you find in this tower, bring them to me. I will catalog and interpret them for you, offering my advice as needed. If our master permits it. Farewell then. Before we part, take a look at this one tome I put aside. I believe you will find the knowledge it contains very useful. That was, well, unexpected. A mysterious stranger in the middle of an unexplored place. Almost like from the old tales. I am sure this knowledge will prove invaluable to us, but something seemed off to me. I do not trust him. Now that you say it, me neither. We will keep an eye on him. Ha! Huh, I wonder if he will join our quest at all. It's a blueprint. You have found your first tome of knowledge. Each one allows you to upgrade specific buildings from your city. Ooh, nice. Okay. Uh, basics of martial techniques. In the ancient times, other races preferred the civilized relationship over forced conflict. However, from time to time, some small local disputes flared, giving the opportunity for the warrior caste to improve their combat techniques. You have now gained the knowledge of more efficient combat styles. These require arduous training and costly equipment and assistance. As such, the training is costly. You can upgrade heroes located in an armory to max level 3. Okay, sounds great. I've not gone to the city yet, we should probably go there. Alright, uh, right, there we go. Trainings. Okay, your champions do not increase their level by experiences gain. After all, they are already the best that your broken land can offer. Instead, you can train them only if you discover tomes of knowledge. Each tome will allow you to train your champions up to a certain level, providing you have the necessary resources to upgrade the class building. Aha! Alright. We can allow... Uh, this one will allow you to upgrade your armory to level 2. Once you do so, you can train Kane and Maeve to maximum level 3. When more classes join you, you will need to find different tomes of knowledge as they cover different areas. Martial, magic, and technology. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Is there anything else we can click on here? There's peeps here. There's some gold. These guys, they look like we're trying to get out. Nine gold there. Ancient book. Can I ancient book? Ah, your party discovers a book written in a language they do not understand. However, they are captivated by the drawings of machines of metal, wood, and cloth, looking like giant birds, yet holding people as though on a ship. Right. I just wonder if it's like kind of like a flying machine. Okay, anything here? I'm surprised this guy didn't like clear out the skeletons, you know? Oh, the smithy. We have a new teleport. Right. A massive door. I wonder what's behind it. Hoist me up a little. I will try to see over the wall. It's a bit dark inside, but I can see something. There's some kind of machinery there, grinding stones and what seems to be a giant hearth. It looks like a blacksmith's forge. Interesting. We need to find a way to open this door then. 
Okay, we have all kinds of doors to open. I think what I want to do is we found the teleporter to be here. Let's go to the city. We have never gone to the city, so let's go. Okay, here, wow, nice. Okay, so we have all kinds of places. We've got a keep, library, barracks, blacksmith, armory, and the tower. Let's click on the armory. All right, there's little need for expert warriors when the greatest enemy is the land itself. You have the knowledge of some basic fighting techniques that cannot be improved further. What skills are are known are taught here through rigorous, repetitious drills. However, you hope that you will find some tomes describing martial arts used by the ancients in their war against the enemy. Right, so we got the blueprint. Cost is 100 gold, and we have 146. Let's upgrade, upgrade to level 2. Okay, we've got an achievement time to train. Okay, so we have max hero level three. So the next one is 1500 and another blueprint is needed. Can we do anything at the blacksmith? Not available. Okay, we need to, oh, we probably need to go to the blacksmith there. Barracks, right. How do we train people? Ooh, there are more people. There's Eric, Rakhem, Boron, Whisper, and Kayla. Nice. Okay. Let's train um, Maeve cost 100 oh we cannot yet okay so this is how to get more hp more mana and more skill points and attribute points same thing for kane it's going to cost us 100 gold so we need to work on finding some gold the library right so this has our quests hidden passage ancient forge keep Okay, so this is just our character sheets and stuff like that. All right, well, I will end the episode on this nice note. We have discovered the city. We've got, we discovered all kinds of cool stuff, and we met a librarian. Um, but that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.